Hello all, Dr. Waite here. Um, just going to cover our last week, final week, week eight uh, for our course. Um, here I am on the learning modules page. Um, before you click into this module, just um, keep a, a notice here that your last assignment, the critical assignment, is due Wednesday. I wanted to point that out. Um, big bold letters here as a reminder. Uh, when you click on this module, you will see the overview video here um, and then the lecture content below as normal. Uh, there's two PowerPoints um, or two chapters uh, with PowerPoint material that I'll be covering in the lecture video briefly. Uh, so you need to uh, download that and uh, read through those chapters. Um, and uh, those, those chapters are going to be on um, antitrust law, and then the second one is labor law, okay? Uh, so make sure that you take a look at those. Uh, one more quiz this week, and then also I want to bring your attention, there was a course evaluation. Uh, I would appreciate if you get that in um, as soon as possible or early on in the week. By latest, uh, I think it was set for Friday uh, as the last date you could turn it in. But please um, uh, complete this and put a, a screenshot uh, so you can get you get credit for for filling it out. Okay, uh, this helps us, uh, especially for me. This is the first uh, round of teaching this course, so um, getting good feedback is helpful for teaching future sections. Okay, um, and then here's the critical assignment. So this is something you need to work on early on this week. Again, it is due by Wednesday. That gives me enough time to watch the videos and. Uh, grade your presentations before the course ends by Friday. Um, so this is a kind of a fun uh, assignment because you get to do basically what I'm doing right now, record yourself and present material. Uh, so it's going to be a video presentation. It says here that basically it's a culmination of the last seven weeks of what we've been researching and reading uh, and applying to the facility that you chose to discuss. Um, so it says in a 10 to 15 minute presentation, please address the following using specific court cases to support your writing in each section. Um, with this, really, if you've done a good job in the previous assignments of documenting and finding support from case studies, you just reuse those in your presentation here. Um, so it, sh it shouldn't be a lot of work finding content. You should already have it done. Uh, now it's just a matter of putting it all together and presenting it. So the topics you need to present in your in your 10 to 15 minute video include facility background. So you're gonna discuss the facility you chose as well as your reasoning for choosing it. So start off by saying, hey, this, I'm so-and-so, this is the facility I chose and here's why I chose it, okay? Uh, then risk management. You're gonna identify and discuss at least three le legal rulings related to risk management that could be present in your facility as well as specific research-based strategies to mitigate such risk in your chosen facility. Again, you've already done this earlier on in weeks two and three, so uh, dive back into that and um, and pull up some of those that you already highlighted. You're just going to be discussing basically what you already turned in for that assignment that week. Uh, and then employment laws, also an assignment that you worked on, so choose three legal rulings for um, employment laws. And then at the end, I want you to um, apply um, your findings and integrate your faith. Uh, so you're going to discuss what you've learned about sports law in this course and um, how it could be applied towards your future career paths. Um, what would you do as a manager, a facility, uh, so on and so forth. And then it says, um, next, using at least three specific biblical references, explain how God's word could guide someone in a managerial, managerial position in the way that they treat their employees as well as how to interpret legal precedent. Um, I think this is a really fun application here because um, I've, I've actually had the opportunity to manage um, a, a college uh, facility uh, when I was a graduate assistant. I was a manager of a, a fitness center, basically. It was for the athletic department and, and for the general population at, at the university. Um, and so I got to put this into action myself. Um, and it's, it's fun to lead with a biblical background um, and it, can, it it's fun to find uh, ways to integrate your faith into how you run your facility. So I'd like to see what you can come up with um, and then add that into your presentation. 
All right, it says uh, your submission should include a PowerPoint file uh, with a YouTube URL um, on page one containing a link to the video of your presentation material. So make sure that you um, use some type of software that it can see you while you go through the slides, like what I'm doing right now. Um, Screencast-O-Matic.com is a good free source. I've used that in the past. Um, I'm currently using Loom, which is a newer technology. Um, anything you have access to is great. Loom, I believe, costs money. I happen to have it because I have an account that one of the universities I teach at pays for. So if you have a, a good way of um, casting yourself while you present your material, anything's fair game. Uh, as long as you can upload to YouTube and cr create it as a public link for everyone to view. It says dress appropriately, um, you know, dr dress like I am, just wearing a polo, something um, um, professional, um, and having good audio and, um, and lighting is important. So uh, avoid dark rooms. Um, and then, of course, use APA format when you're um, formatting your references because you have to have a few references for each one. So like the risk management and the employment laws, there's three rulings you have to have in there. And then your biblical sources, make sure those are all format and APA. Okay. And then, of course, here's the rubric on the breakdown, how this will all be graded. And you can take a look at all of that. Um, so again, this is due Wednesday. So no late work is, is allowed this week. Um, so just keep, keep an eye on that, mark your calendar, and make sure you start working on it right away. If you have questions, shoot me an email, and I'll get back to you. Bye for now.